Hi guys, I want to do a quick video for you today about this product right here. It is a Rahua hair mask. And what I liked about this, there were a few things that I'm going to share with you today. The biggest thing though that it was was that it was very easy to use. So this hair mask is much like a lot of conditioners. You put it in after you shampoo your hair, you leave it in 10 to 15 minutes, and then you rinse it out. So very easy to use. You're going to shower anyway. You just have to hang out a little bit longer if you're trying to take shorter showers. Um, but I think for most people, leaving a conditioner in for about 10 minutes isn't too much of an ask. So the takeaway from using this mask, which I used like basically an hour ago, um, I let my hair naturally dry and I haven't put anything in it um, since using the mask. And my big takeaway is that it was easy to use, like I said. Uh, the other thing is that when I went to rinse it, it rinsed very easily. Now I love heavy, thick, gelatinous conditioners and conditioning masks. My conditioners actually look like masks. I mean, I basically require that just to be detangled and to, for my hair to feel comfortable. Um, but what I liked about this one is I felt like I got all of the benefits of a mask or a good conditioner without having that really nasty film that you sometimes get all over you after rinsing out a thicker conditioner. And also it, it just rinsed out really easily and it just felt really nice and clean afterwards. So my hair still feels clean even though it has like a thick load of mask and conditioner on it. Um, it feels light. It definitely feels detangled. It feels like that detangling is going to last at least a day or two. And um, the scent, it was a it was a pleasant scent. It wasn't like overly scented. It wasn't perfumey or anything like that. So it wasn't anything that would register with me as being either overly positive or negative. So for me, that's I think that's a good sign. It just smells basically like a conditioner or a conditioning mask on the thicker side. And the biggest thing actually, which I haven't mentioned yet, is that this one is 100% plant derived and also it's rainforest grown. There are a lot of items in here that are fully organic. Not everything on the list is organic, but a lot of it is. And I just feel like it is a good mask. It was successful, it was easy, it works well, but mostly it is derived of plant um, based oils and other ingredients. And I think that's really appealing to a lot of people who are really trying to make an effort to um, use body products that are not made with animal products. So I think that would be interesting to those of you who are vegan. It doesn't say vegan necessarily on it. So if you are vegan and you're trying to go that route, it's worth you researching. And I will add all of the ingredients below in the little um, box below the viewer, which tells you any bit of information that I have to share with you. So take a look down there. But at any rate, I think this is a good mask and I think it's definitely something that I would use again and something that I enjoyed using today. So I thought I'd share that with you. So if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button below the video player. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day and I hope I get to spend time with you again soon. Take care.